Now that uh, we have our cluster ready, it's time to set up the OIDC provider. For that, we need to log in to our account. We are logging in with the user that we created for list access for our cluster. If you used the admin access, go ahead and uh, log in with that particular user. Once you log in, navigate to the IAM console. And under the IAM console on the left, navigate to the identity providers. Under identity providers, we need to add a new provider. Just click on add provider and uh, make sure at the top here you click open ID connect. You are not using some or the provider URL. Just in the provider URL that we copied and uh, click get thumbprint. Once you get the thumbprint, we need to put in the audience which will be sts.amazon.aws.com. Once you've entered that, you can add uh, project tags here. Once you are satisfied with this, you can just click add provider. And here you can see our user is not allowed to tag an open ID provider, so you can remove the tags and then just go ahead and create the provider without a tag. So that's how list access works. This is our OIDC identity provider for our cluster and uh, we linked it to the cluster URL. You can see this is the ID. So make sure you've created at least a single identity provider for the cluster before you go ahead and install the load balancer controller. You can view the provider. Don't worry about assigning the role because that's what we'll do using the service account. Once you've done this, the next step will be to run our helm command to install the load balancer controller.